Hi, today I will discuss how to parallel power MOSFETs, what is affecting current sharing and best practices to optimize your design using Nexperia power MOSFETs. Welcome to this quick learning video. I'm Cristian Radici and I'm an application engineer working at Nexperia in the automotive department. There are two main types of applications that require MOSFETs to be paralleled, load switch and switch mode. Switch mode applications, also known as PWM applications, include motor drive and switch mode power converters. This is the topology that I will discuss today. As you can see, three MOSFETs are paralleled both at the low side and the high side of a half bridge, driving an inductive load. In this case, the current will share among the three devices. Therefore, a equal current sharing is the main target. Current sharing can be influenced by both internal and external uh, parameters to the MOSFET. Internal ones are related to certain datasheet parameters and their part-to-part -part variation, also known as spread. We individuated three parameters, on-state resistance, RDS-ON, input charge, QG, and the threshold voltage. Now, the spreads are unfortunately inevitable during the manufacturing process of silicon dye. The lower the spread, the more synchronized the operation of the MOSFETs. Now, let's start with the RDS-ON. RDS-ON has the lowest impact of all three and will affect mainly the conduction or static operation. In this case, MOSFETs behave as simple resistors. Therefore, current will flow mainly in the lowest resistance one. However, the positive temperature coefficient of the resistance will help to balance out the current. Input charge instead has more of an influence on current sharing, mainly during switching. However, this can be counteracted effectively by splitting the gate resistance between one smaller at the MOSFET side and one larger and common to the three MOSFETs at the driver side. By doing this, the operation of the MOSFET will be synchronized and they will share current evenly. However, threshold voltage is the most problematic one. In this case, M1 has a lower threshold voltage than the others and will turn on first and turn off last, thus handling more current and increasing its dissipated power. Moreover, the negative temperature coefficient of the threshold voltage will decrease even further the threshold voltage of M1. However, in Nexperia's power MOSFETs, we often observe more than three times uh, less spread in threshold voltage when considering batch-to-batch -batch variation. Now, external factors to the MOSFETs are instead related to the PCB layout. And in this case, a tighter layout will help both the electrical and the thermals. Electrical by reducing the parasitic um, resistance and inductance and thermals to make so that MOSFETs uh, can operate at a similar junction temperature. Moreover, a single driver driving all the parallel MOSFETs is usually recommended to synchronize the operation of the MOSFETs. Thanks for watching and for more, please visit nextvideo.com.